<laughs> it's another group, man. I'm hoping make it too. Hello and welcome again to Feed the Entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Devon Cooper, and I'm here with Certify. How y'all doing today? Pretty good. What's pretty going good. on, man? Can't complain. Man, I feel I'm, I'm more happy than y'all to be here because <laughs> y'all just got signed with Sony. Yeah, yeah. Man, how y'all feel about that? Great, man. That's a blessing. That's a blessing. Like, <laughs> you can't explain the feeling, really. You know, that's what you know everybody's striving for, and it's at the door. Yeah, yeah. Most definitely. It's definitely been a long time coming, man. You know, just just being able to do what you love, man, and having to persevere and, and see the results come. Right, right. What you got to say? Man, like I said, we here, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we here. I like you know, that, man. I here. mean, but y'all all seem humble, though. You know, I mean, of course, I, I, man, all the time I talk about Floyd Mayweather here. Mm -hmm. A lot of people may not like his attitude, but he confident and he got assurance of what he do. You know, mm -hmm. he said, I don't go into the ring unless I'm prepared. You know, you're about to go into a level of success, I believe. And uh, are y'all ready for that? Oh, yeah. Well, evidently, y'all ready for y'all next time. You gotta, you know, it's always good, man, to see people happy in life, man. And then, you know, uh, again, like you said, the hard work that y'all done put in to get where y'all finna go. You know, it just, you, you gotta get things first of all to God. And, you know, I mean, how y'all stick together? I mean, you know, everybody know what blood family is, but real family is the ones who gonna be by your side. How y'all stick together? Well, I think, uh, you know, the biggest thing as far as between us three is just understanding that we all trying to get to the same level. So uh, normally, you know, that understanding isn't there like, for people who break up. Like, you know, we know, like, we're going to argue, we're going to fight. Right, right. And, you know, we know we family, but we only arguing because we all trying to get to the same place. It's not because we just want to hold each other back. Right, right. So, I mean, that understanding, I think, is key mm -hmm. in order for us to, to stay together, and that's what we're working for. Us. You know, um... Y'all give each other any kind of constructive criticism? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's definitely. Like, you can't just let everything slide or we wouldn't be where we are today. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, it, it, there's got to be a win and a lose. I mean, I wouldn't say such a win and a lose, but a compromise. You right, feel right. Me? Like, without compromising, there won't be that's you know, true. success. That's true. So, you know I mean, mean? y'all all pretty much, y'all just put yourself in a position of leadership. You help me, I help you. Yeah. You pull me up, I pull you up. Let's do this together. We make it happen. Yeah, I mean, we, you know, we all know that, that that we're better in certain areas and weaker in certain areas. But the thing mm -hmm. about it is a balance because an area that I'm weaker in, he's stronger in, or he's stronger in, and, you know, and vice versa. So, uh, you know, that definitely works. And you know, we're all just confident anyway. So he, he can tell me something, that, and I think I think you can do this or change this on your verse or something like that because he just they know. Right, right, right. So they just want the best for it. We want the best for everybody. Well, they know your best too, right? Yeah. So they, they know what you're capable of. I, mean, I right. think you can go harder on that, you know? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, man, you about. know, uh, who helped you? I mean, did anybody help y'all? Or, um, I mean, I know I, I know y'all, I know y'all, man. I mean, I seen y'all pushing, man. I seen y'all at clubs, man, when there wasn't no money involved, you know? Hey, we let's go do this because that was your passion. And you got to be that way, you know, in any business or anything you're trying to be successful at in life. Yeah. You know, uh, was it anybody who gave y'all extra push or maybe opened some doors or anything like that? I think uh, the will help us a lot. And uh, this ain't even a person. It's just the uh, the denial of situations we was in. We was uh, forced to make this happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was forced. Like, we was in situations where things was promised to us. We, it didn't work out, you know what I'm saying? So we're like, dang, what's going on? So it's like, pushed us to do this, right? And then people seen that in us, like, yo, these dudes ain't stopping. You know what I mean? Then people start like, hey, you know, I'm gonna help you do this, help you do right. that. So y'all overcame adversity. You know? Exactly. Yeah. And when people, man, when people see you and want to quit, man, and they see that you're passionate about what you're gonna do, then they start to grow that same passion. Mm -hmm. And if they got anything that they can add to the table. They not they don't mind as much to put it there because they say, hey, yeah. I'm not losing on nothing with these guys. You yeah. know? Right, right. That's who y'all like brothers. Definitely, definitely, yeah. man. Yeah, definitely. definitely. I feel like I'm part of the team. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I feel good. I feel real good, man. Any shout outs, man? Oh, definitely. I just want to shout out the whole certified squad. You know, uh, Mark Muhammad. Uh, that's our VP. Operation may keep everything running smoothly. Um, uh, Quail, uh, Drew Shade, uh, Wayne. Uh, man, we got we just got a lot of people, man, that that do that do a lot of things for us and you know help us to be on point. Um, it's just it's just a blessing, you know. Um, 
you got Jay Ray, you know, he make beats. Like, right. Every, right. Everything everything works out, you know, the, the way it is. Mm -hmm. And it's you know, it's definitely it's definitely something that, that, that helps us keep pushing further and a lot of people see because it takes it takes everybody. Wow. Oh, right, right, right. Shouts out so, to the management too. A one up. Okay. Okay. You know what I mean? Floyd, T White, Don. You know what I mean? Can't forget them. You know that it, this is all the thing that makes it so nice to us is we build it from the ground up. You know what I mean? It's not like somebody came from higher up and came and got us. This all grew together. You know what I mean? Right. This is, the way we say it is God's work. Oh, man. Gotta you know give him the glory, man. Because uh, everything, it's like once once we came together, it's like everything's been falling right to where it needs mm -hmm. to be. You feel me? Like, it, it's, it's it's a definite blessing. Man, man. what's the spirit I feel about y'all, though, man? I feel a good <laughs> spirit, man. Y'all saying God, but a lot of people talk God, man. I mean, I really, y'all, it seemed like y'all would have a relationship with God. Oh, like, yeah. real deal. Oh, yeah. You know, sitting right, like I said, I get a good spirit right here sitting with y'all. Oh, yeah. I like y'all swag, too, man. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, man. He just got a hand on it. He just feeling good, you know what I mean? The guy holding I, I, the mic. I, I didn't get the memo on the hat today. <laughs> 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 That's why. <I'm> stage after stage wake up go to sleep you know we gotta do it you know what i mean I oh feel yeah like that's definitely needed you know what i'm saying right just for health sickness anything can happen tomorrow you know what i'm saying how y'all connect uh, oh yeah actually um um it actually started with me and nice uh, we had a group called the fly guys um mm -hmm. and that, that's actually what we were pushing for um the the majority of the time that we, that we were doing music and then um B's my cousin, mm -hmm. you know, I, uh, I found out that he was doing music, you know, he would come to me, um, you know, I would kind of give him some advice on stuff where to go, you know, cause, and uh, I would tell him, man, look, you know, if ever you want, you can come over here and join us, man, because, you know, we got, you know, we got some things in place, we still working, we still growing. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, it didn't happen right away. Right, right. But then when we finally, when we finally came together, we were really just supposed to do a song. He was going to be featured, and we were going to do a video. Right, right. And then uh, at the time, uh, one of our mentors who was helping us out on music was like, you know, I see a bigger vision. Who was that? Um, his name is RJ. Oh, okay. Yeah, is that so the one that did, does the music, too? Um, he's He has a hand in music. He can, he's kind of one that's, like, behind the scenes, kind of orchestrates and puts stuff together. And, uh, you know, he gave us the vision, you know, because mm -hmm. at first it wasn't going to be that. And then, you know, uh, we got we had to get used to it because, you know, it was used, just just us two. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when it when it came down to, you know, we saw there was a balance yeah, and mm -hmm. people accepted it. So it was like, you know, definitely we're going to accept it. So we've been rocking ever right. since. Man. We got videos in the development. We just been, we hit the ground running. Man, how y'all um, prepare for, like, being on stage, y'all audition? I mean, I'm pretty sure y'all practice somewhere, right? Oh, yeah. Because I seen y'all on stage, I seen y'all rock. <laughs> I seen y'all rock the stage, man. I seen you know, videos. It's hot, man. I, I like it all. It ain't about, it don't look like, um, you know, from the outside looking in, always different than looking mm -hmm. from the inside, you know. Mm -hmm. But from the outside looking in, it look like it is a unity there. You know, it ain't yeah. about, hey, look at me, mm -hmm. you right. know. Um, I heard y'all joking earlier, you know, with Temptations, you know. <laughs> Leon, you know. <laughs> no, man, I, I, it feel good to sit up here with some real brothers, man. You know, that that's just a, a pleasure, you know. But, um, I mean, man, you know, look at the camera, man. Go get on stage, do your thing, man. Y'all, how was y'all, how was y'all feeling individually when y'all was actually signing? Was y'all looking at each other like, bro, we, we doing this? Man, uh... <laughs> I, I was having this what we call a party in our head. Like in my head, I was just sitting there thinking, like, man, I can't believe I'm here right now. I was, I was cheesing, like I was jumping up, up and down, man, man. And like it was, it was, it was a blessing, man. We we're actually at a photo shoot in North Carolina when when we signed, man. It like just for me, it was like I just wanted to run out the room. Wow. And it was like you know, I felt like that was the accomplishment right there. Yeah, yeah. You know, what about so. you? Man, it's just. Like I said, man, it, it, yeah, man, <laughs> feeling like stuff that, you know, people told you you wasn't going to do or mm -hmm. you wasn't going to make it there or you wasn't, you know, all that doubt that I fought through, that we fought through, you know what I mean, yeah. and overcame that it's just like, right, right. it was just like, yeah, I told you so. Because I know, uh, what was the thing I said after you? Oh, uh, to me, it just was like, um, it was definitely um, unbelievable. You know, coming from our situation, right, right, and coming from you know 
the stuff that was going on here and people mm -hmm. just not having faith in people just because we're from here, you know, it was a shocker, like, dang, you know what I'm saying? And then right, it, right. to me, it's a checkpoint, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just a checkpoint, man. We, man. we ready. I wanted to get to that, man. I mean, this is a very small, not only a small city, but a small-minded city. Where, yeah. almost to go back to what you said, you know, when people tell you that you can't do something, it's almost like it's a big hill in front of you because you can't see what's on the other side. Because, you know, everybody here, it's like everybody want to be the first one or go against each other right. and help each other out. Like, if you go to a bigger city, everybody helping each other, you know, especially during the music thing. You go to Atlanta, they working together. You know what I mean? They, they all coming together. Unity. Just, uh, yeah, yeah. That's all it is, man. That's what it's about. A lot of people don't understand that, though. Right. And that's what we, you know what I mean? We come together. We make sure we got that. We'll set you know the what example. I mean? Exactly. Yeah. We don't just let anybody in, you know what I mean? Right, right. It, it's, a family. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. Now, who got the biggest mind? All of them got the business mind. Um, you know, I, if, if you had to put it on someone, I'm the bookhead of the okay. group. I mean, you know, my mom just, she made me stay in the books. Like, she's scared of straight, really. So I, it got to the point where I'm like, man, I did it for so long. I'm just Boy, keep going. I tell you, <laughs> yeah, I better get over in that book. <laughs> but you're intelligent, though, man. I mean, all y'all intelligent. Every, okay. I mean, obviously, man. I mean, people don't sign. Uh, let's be real money over to some fools, you know, yeah. uh, I mean don't get me wrong people may put music out there that I might think sound crazy mm -hmm. Or man, how in the world he get a deal, <laughs> but yeah. somebody put some business behind it, you know yeah. But yeah, you know, that, that, so, I mean, and this is 90% business Man, 10% music, no matter how many songs you make at the end of the day, if your business not right it's not gonna matter. Right. A lot of people don't understand that. And, and, and that's what I'm saying. The mindset, you know, yeah, you gotta. Yeah. And if you don't know it, you better learn it. Yeah. Be, you know, because I don't know how true it is. I don't know a whole lot about the music business, but I do. Uh, somebody did mention to me before that. Um, let me say it right. You get jit on your first deal most times. Is that true? Yeah. Um. That that is true. Yeah. Right? Normally, because I mean, and ba just to keep it real, I mean, like it's it's not designed for the artist to win. So, I mean, you know, it's just, it's, it's that, that's why they, people stress on everything that you do or as much of it as you can because, you know, you can't really just live off just doing music anymore. You gotta, you gotta dabble in everything. And, and owning everything is where the money is. That's true. That's so. very true. Uh, I mean, because y'all from the same city I'm from, you know, and I run a business here in Fort Wayne. And it's not always easy. Yeah. You know, but y'all was talking about um, not giving up you know, always being diligent to what y'all was doing, you know. Even when it was times, I'm pretty sure that y'all was like, man, are you sure that's what we're supposed to be doing? Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, who really, I mean, I'm asking it individually, because I know everybody got different family members who might, you know, put a bug in here every now and then. Who really kept y'all going, man? I mean, I know y'all kind of answered it before a little bit, but it just, it got to be somebody, you know, through all what y'all been through, you know. I can, I can kind of feel what y'all been through, the passion. Listen to you, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, who your mom? You know, every, you know, obviously individually, you know, yeah. you got to give credit where credit is due. You know, right. I mean, who who else? Um, I mean, like for me, really, it, it was just, you know, I, I understand that. I mean, the, the city, there's not really much going on. Right, there. right. So I mean, I like I've always told myself like I don't want to be a regular person, like in terms of mm. just every day like you know whether it's clocking in 40 hours a week like i don't see me just doing that and that's and that's what kept me going and i knew like um, i'm real good at doing music mm -hmm. so it was like you know this is something i, I definitely want to keep pushing for and then you know my brother like he was like the, the main one that, that really believed in me as far as and and recognizing that i had talent mm. so I mean, he like he actually put the money up for you know for actually me and I to do our first mixtape right. when we when we first got together. So I mean that was definitely motivation. How did you you got something to say about that? Uh, basically, uh, my motivation came from um, uh, a lot of the hatred, man. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. I use that for fire. They don't understand that. The more you say about me, the more I'm gonna do this. Like it's like ooh, it's a deal. A lot of people can't possess that. I'm, I'm possessive, like, you know, I, I stay on that, I stand on that, especially uh, a lot of motivation also came from, like, my parents just because 
<laughs> and my family, they the backbone for everybody. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And then my grandmother, she, she, you know what I'm saying? My mom's the oldest. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So she's been the older sister. She's the backbone. You know what I'm saying? So I've been around that. Everybody come to her. Everybody come. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it's like, I know I'm going to fulfill them shoes. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. When they, when they gone. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? For the people that I'm around. You know what I'm saying? Right. So mm -hmm. I just want to be able to hold that down. So mm -hmm. that's why I get my motivation. I say, man, it's it's my my oldest brother. My, my daughters, man. Uh, I got two little girls, so they, they definitely push me. It's not about me no more. You know what I mean? Like, I, I gotta do what I gotta do to take care yeah, of them. You know, my mother told me, it's, hey, it's not about them no more. And, you know, everybody, I mean, it's my family, you know, we're family. I mean, everybody giving me those words, but the closest one I'm to, uh, you know, the closest two is my brother, excuse me. Oh, you know what I mean? My brother and my daughters. That That's yeah. definitely motivation. You know what yeah. I mean? They show me that, you, man, you, my brother tell me all the time, keep going. You can do anything. Y'all yeah. going to make it. Mm -hmm. Like, this is before we even got close to anything before the first video. Mm -hmm. Brother, yeah. support the whole way. Oh, yeah. 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 O
situations that you might want to mention to say, man, you know, at that time, I might feel like I wasn't going to make it. Hmm. You ever had that mindset? Man, um... Or just kind of have a little fear, like, man, I'm pushing this, but what if what if I really don't make it? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think I think that's natural, uh, yeah. especially coming from here, you know, um, and it's... And like, you know, from what Bill was saying, that everybody wants to be the one to make it first. Like, if you are doing what we're doing, wow. and, and they kind of, they want to tear you down, you know, mm -hmm. just just to kind of get themselves some insurance to make sure, okay, yeah, they didn't make it yet, so I still right. got a chance to be the first one. And and that, that's really not what it's about for us. You know, we just want to put the city on, the state on, the region, you know, on, like, the way, like, how it is in the South, right. you know, and... You know, they're just together and everything that they so do. So it's bigger than just Fort Wayne. It's more yeah. heavy. I mean, we come from the Midwest. We, yeah. we think bigger than that, you know. Yeah. 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 I want to get this out. I want to get this out too. Like, talking on what they were saying about all that is the, the, the note. You know what I'm saying? Like, the radio stations, the, the, all that. You know what I mean? It's no here. You know what I'm saying? You go out of town, it's yes. You know what I'm saying? I don't get it. You know what I mean? Like, coming from here and doing what we're doing, and trying to and trying to uh, open the gates up for everybody, you know what I'm saying? Like, where's the love? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. we're trying to do this yeah. for the city, for everybody, for the Midwest, yeah. whatever. Why is it no here? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Why is it no? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm trying to get that answered. You know what yeah, I mean? That's what you know what I mean, and that's really that. That's really what we we just want to we want to change that whole perspective. And, and, and this is so much bigger than rap listening to you. Yeah. I like this. 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 The time, the money, the right. effort, and, and to making yourself sound presentable. Mm. You know, they say all the time, like, you know, a whack artist who has a presentable product mm -hmm. will end up on the desk of somebody important before, or they'll actually listen to it before they'll listen to somebody who's dope, but... Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. You know, it's, it's all about, you know, presentation and, you know, just... just for everybody else, you know, before, you know, not everybody else, but, you know, majority of people before, you know, they didn't really take the time, they, really, they got talent, but they may not put the time into making it sound right. Mm -hmm. I, um, how y'all feel about, I mean, money, you know, I mean, I, me, myself, I, like you said, you got two daughters, I got two sons, yeah, it's about, I, I, matter of fact, right here, I would just like to just congratulate you for being a man and being there for him, man. It's a lot of <laughs> you know, I don't care if it's talent, business, whatever, man. Man, I ain't letting go of them. You know, man, I, that's me, you know. I felt that love. I did not see how a person can walk out, man. I can't see how a person can walk out, so you know. And, and I always mention it. It's, 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 hard, it's, it's almost so easy to compare business with family mm -hmm. you know just like with you it may be different but you said he's your brothers and you got your daughters you don't want to walk out on your daughters but there have been rappers who don't walked out on who they call their brothers mm -hmm. and left them left them out there you know and they didn't make it for that reason yeah. you know they might have been they might have all together had that bond but without that one person, it, it don't matter who they try to replace him with, it never was going to happen because that, he was the piece of that fuss. Mm -hmm. But because he didn't have the same diligence and dedication that they had, that the new people they brought in, mm -hmm. it just, it never worked. It would never be the same, even if it did work. It won't work the way it did before. And that's right. It all has to do with money also. You know, money, money changes people. And, like, you know, we just just understanding like man we didn't have anything when we first started so right. every dollar that i made with y'all after this is, is a plus like right. it's a bonus mm -hmm. so i mean you know, I, I look at it like if you know if i don't make that dollar today that's fine wow at the end of the day i was in the worst situation before i had that, before <laughs> I had that man you'll never forget them times either boy. yeah and that's what we love to do so it's like you know right, i love right. to do this if we get paid for it, that's a plus. You, know? you, you book smart, so you, you don't go to uh, college or anything like that? Yeah, I go to college. I actually go to IPW. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. You like what, sophomore or junior? Um, senior. 
saying right now? Can you say you want to get a degree? Yeah, I have a degree. I can't wait in. Uh, oh, you already have, have a degree? No, I'll, I'll have both of them by the time I come up. Okay, okay, but how do you, how are you going to do that with, with design? Are you going to um, is it a way you can get it done? I mean, I'll just, I'll try to find a way. I mean, I may, I may, uh, you know, have to focus fully on, you know, doing on my career as far as doing music, but um, I, that's definitely something that I'm, that I'm going to continue right, if right. I can. Uh, if I have to come back to it, I definitely do it. I promised my mom that I was going to finish. Right, right. Regardless of how much money I make or, you know, where I go. It's, it's an accomplishment, you know. What about you, just a... Uh... Work, man. Working, man. Taking care of home. Hey, that's it. That's it. You just maintain, huh? Just maintain. I went to college, too, for a little bit. I was going to do uh, physical therapy, mm -hmm. you know, and then we got that studio up, and that's my first love, so <laughs> I'm at it. You know what I learned? <laughs> that school is wherever you're learning at. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned your brother, your mom. Man, I mean, I really... Y'all mentioned Mark Muhammad. <laughs> I learned something on the phone with that guy. Right. Where I went out and made, and made some money that day. Yeah. Just with uh, three or four words. Yeah, he definitely. I mean, man, he most definitely I salute that man. Yeah. And, man, and, and that's what I'm talking that about when you start talking about that, the pieces of the puzzle. Man, I mean, three or four words, and he wouldn't even know. But I go out in the world and I own business, it might be going a little slow, and then it'll click in your head. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, um, then I've heard from people, you know, I mean, I've had to cut off people who I love personally. Yeah. From, from you know, and I, man, it's not easy. It's <laughs> not easy. You know, so, but that would have been a lot more um, easier to do, or a lot more tougher to do, you know, if I um, didn't learn them type of things from other people, you know, from their experiences and the stuff that they had to say about it, you know. Sometimes mm -hmm. you just got to let people go. You know, you don't want that dead weight. Yeah, exactly. You know. Um, so, is that the only place you guys can be found at YouTube right now? Um, that's where, like, most of our stuff is. Uh, you know, we got video blogs. Uh, for, you know, every time we go out of town and, and do an event, we, we put something in, some type of footage of it. Uh, you can get our singles off of iTunes. Um, we actually got, yep, in that piff, we got a... Um, a mixtape, two mixtapes on there actually that you can download and you know just get a feel for the type of music we make. We make we make a little bit of everything. Okay, okay. So and why don't y'all just go ahead and just say you know what's up to your city, man? We uh, this is Speed yeah. to Entrepreneurs. I mean, I've had a great time yeah. with all y'all, man. I really yeah. thank y'all, man. Thank y'all, man. Great time with y'all, man. Thank y'all for coming in. This is an edition of Speed to Entrepreneurs. Thank you.